Do you want to eat fruits and reap their benefits, but worried about spiking your blood sugar levels? You're not alone. Many people are faced with the same dilemma on a daily basis. We know that fruits are good for you, as they are packed with things like antioxidants and vitamins. However, fruits can cause blood sugar spikes, and some much worse than others. This is concerning, especially if your goal is to have blood sugar levels that are within a healthy or normal range. If you have a family history of diabetes, are pre-diabetic, or have diabetes, you've come to the right place. So let's not waste any time and reveal some of these offenders. First up is watermelon. Despite being mostly water, it has a high glycemic index, which can cause blood sugar levels to spike. Think of glycemic index as a system that ranks foods based on their effect on blood glucose levels. Next up is pineapple. Delicious and tropical, but it's packed with natural sugars, making it a risky choice. Bananas, especially when overripe, are high in fast-absorbing carbohydrates. Fast-absorbing carbohydrates lead to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Mangoes might be mouth-watering, but they're also dense and packed with sugar. These two are risky. Included in this list are grapes. They have a relatively high sugar content. Lastly, dried fruits like raisins and dates. As they too can cause a rapid increase. Now that this list has been revealed, let's not stop here. Let's put things into perspective. After all, we are all different and can respond as such to various fruits and foods. For instance, you may not experience a large blood sugar spike after eating a mango, but may from a fruit not on this list. Obtaining the benefits of these fruits and keeping your blood sugar levels under control just may be possible with a modified approach. For example, eating smaller portions of watermelon or eating it less frequently is one strategy that may work for you. Pairing the fruit along with a source of healthy fat or protein could be another option. With the different approaches that are possible, how can you figure out which is better or even best? Checking your blood sugar levels before and after eating a certain fruit can offer valuable insight. For instance, you may discover that your blood sugar level gets very high after eating a full banana. This information, along with different resources that exist, can help you get one step closer to glycemic control. For example, a dietitian can serve as a guiding resource. Meal plans that include fruits you like to eat can be developed. To conclude, knowing which fruits are worse for diabetes does not necessarily mean those fruits should be completely avoided. Instead, it means that you may need to figure out which approach works for you. It is possible that your blood sugar levels continue to have large spikes despite trying different approaches. Nevertheless, you'll at least be learning what doesn't work for you and be one step closer to discovering what does. If you found this content helpful, please leave a comment and click like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.